Hi everybody, I'm Mickey from Ocean First Institute and I'm going to show you today how to change out our Artemia, um, which are baby shrimp that we feed to our uh, fry fish, our little baby fish. First is I'm going to dismantle the setup that we have right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug uh, the bubbler. I just shut that off and then I'm going to go ahead and shut off my light. I'm going to go ahead and pull that back. It's just on a PVC rod. What I'm going to go ahead and do is pull out the bubbler and just go ahead and set that down right here. And then very carefully, I'm going to pull this out just like this. Whoops. and then lift this out and take this over to the sink. So you can follow me over to the sink. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. And then what I'll do is go ahead and turn on water. I'm gonna rinse this with my hand. There's gonna be a line um, of dried out brine shrimp, so you just wanna take your hand and clean this out. And then you can rotate it and do the same thing. And then I've got a thermometer, I'll take that off and just rinse that with my hand. And remember, don't ever use soap. Um, or any other chemicals um, with aquariums because that residual can harm your fish. So you only just use your hand. Um, you don't really need to use any kind of abrasives, no chemicals at all. All right, I think um, what we wanna do too is um, go ahead and clean the outside. Sometimes we'll get salt residuals here and we don't want that. And then what's kind of a fun little trick is you can turn this and fill it up. You can open your valve and it'll kind of fill up with water. Right, and one last thing you can do is um, use a little container, um, again, just to kind of run down the walls um, of the Artemia hatchery here. Just kind of getting that last little, get all the water out. You can go ahead and uh, close your valve and then you'll take it back to the, the holder. So I have put back our hatchery into the holder. Now we're gonna go over to the refrigerator so that we can get the shrimp eggs that we need in order to grow our next batch. So follow me and I'm gonna show you where we go to get the eggs. So we're going out of the robotics lab Okay. And we're going to go straight over to the break room. And then we're going to open up the refrigerator. And on the right hand side is going to be a little bag. And that's our Artemia. Okay, so uh, the next part is to uh, fill up the hatchery with water. So we're gonna take warm tap water and we don't need to treat it with dechlor or any chemicals. And we're gonna be getting two liters. So we use this measuring cup right here. The most important step is to make sure that your valve is closed so that the water doesn't spill out. So we're gonna do one. Okay, and we're gonna add our second liter of water. And again, this is not treated. And then what I'm gonna do is I have a little cheat sheet here, which tells me exactly what I need. So two liters of warm water. I need three tablespoons of salt. So I just happen to have um, a tablespoon right here. And I happen to have my salt right here in my gray supply box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna walk right back over to my water and I'm gonna pour in one level tablespoon, put it in, two level tablespoons, put it in, and then three level tablespoons, put it in, and then my directions tell me 
that I need one teaspoon of Artemia eggs. I just happen to have a teaspoon here and I have my Artemia eggs that I got from the refrigerator. I'm gonna open up this pack. I'm gonna just very carefully put in my teaspoon and kind of use my hand to level it out. And you can see I've got a nice level amount of shrimp eggs. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour those right in to the water. Okay, then I'm gonna seal back my pack. And what I need to do now is get my light back. And I'm also gonna add my um, bubbler back. And I might wanna clean this off. So I might take this and just gently clean this off from our last batch just so we have a nice clean start. I'll go ahead and replace that back into the water. And then I'm gonna replace my pole and my light. And you wanna be careful that uh, this is a heat lamp, so you don't want it really touching um, the acrylic. You wanna make sure that that's kind of hanging on its own. Another little trick is to kind of put the cord on top here. And then we're gonna replace the bubbler into the plug. And then you're gonna see in the tower, the eggs are now circulating. They've got heat, they've got light, and they've got oxygen. And so this will take about 24 hours or so before we have the shrimp hatch out of these eggs. And it is these little shrimp that will then feed to the fish. The last step um, of creating the shrimp hatchery and the Artemia is just to write down when we started the batch and then uh, about three days later, uh, we'll go ahead and change it out. So it takes about a day to hatch and then those shrimp are good for about two days and then we need to switch them out. So that's what we do just so that we can keep track. And as you can see, we have two towers here. And so we alternate those so that we always have a fresh batch of shrimp to feed to our fish.